I like a drink as much as the next man. Unless the next man is Mel Gibson. OK. Right, listen, this is... Shush. Just shut up, really, seriously. Right. A few years ago, on this show, I made a joke about Mal Gibson getting a bit drunk and saying a few unsavoury things. We've all done it. I wasn't judging him, but now I find myself in the awkward position of having to introduce him again. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure it's embarrassing for both of us, OK? And I blame NBC for this terrible situation. <laughs> Mal blames... We know who Mal blames. <laughs> Listen, I still feel a bit bad for it, right? Mal's forgotten all about it, apparently. That's what drinking does. No. <laughs> I want to say something nice about Mal before he comes out. Um, so... Oh, yeah, OK, here you go. I'd rather have a drink with him in his hotel room tonight than with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Please welcome Mal Gibson. Yeah. I love seeing Ricky once every three years because it reminds me to get a colonoscopy. <laughs> oh. yeah. <laughs> well, if you'd left your drink here, you don't need to leave your drink here. I'll put you to sleep another way, son of a bitch. <laughs> Listen. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I think we all want the answer to this. Mm -hmm. What the fuck does sugar tits even mean? 